My senior year of high school, I was voted wittiest. So, several years later, I decided to try my hand at writing humor to see if I could be witty enough to make some money. I was told in high school that the last game during your senior year stays with you forever, which is true. Deadline is the story of a young man forced to discover who he is and what's important in life during the short span of his senior year in high school. Here I was, this good guy that played football, I was gonna go play in college but I had a bad senior year. But I played guitar in assemblies whenever I could. My senior year of high school, when I was getting recruited for college, my dad goes to me, you can become an Olympic champion. And that's the first time that I'd heard someone else say that to me. I was like, uh, are you talking to me? At this point I was strongly advised that I was too young socially to go to college so I took a second senior year at Andover, another boarding school. I remember, in my senior year, one of my teachers taking me aside and saying, you look really tired. This was when I was being a bad kid and she knew that something was wrong. I started going to acting school in my senior year in high school, and I remained in acting school through four years of college. Lou and I met while we were in high school in our senior year. We were in many of the same classes together and quite a few times we went over to his house to hang out. I quit high school on my birthday. It was my senior year and I didn't see the point. This was 1962, and I was ready to make music. I was a quarterback in peewee football. I always wanted to be quarterback. They're the leaders, they make the calls. It didn't work out because I didn't have the arm. I also played wide receiver my senior year in high school. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 18. I started a company with a bunch of buddies that got funded in my senior year, and that's when I finished school. It was called Scour, a peer-to-peer -peer service, file sharing. I had only played five games in my senior year in high school. I was not large enough. Hell, when I graduated, I was about 5 foot 4 and weighed 120 pounds. I didn't go with the Dodgers until spring training of 1940 and I weighed all of 155 pounds soaking wet. I was in college in Washington DC. I did three years full time. I did all my requirements, and my senior year was really a gut year. And I said, law school will always be there. I was in no hurry to get right into that. I took a couple of creative writing classes with Joyce Carol Oates at Princeton University, and in my senior year there, I took a long fiction workshop with Toni Morrison. I fell in love with it. I went to high school in Texas for one year, my senior year. My parents wanted me to get out of Stockholm because I was running with the wrong crew. They wanted me to get back to my roots. My first plays were amazingly bad, but I had a teacher who thought I had promise, and he kept working with me. I finally went to a summer workshop before my senior year with people like Sam Shepard and Maria Irene Forns who encouraged me to write from my subconscious. And suddenly all this material about culture clash came out. Until my senior year, baseball and basketball were my best sports, and even when I was a senior, I still wanted to play baseball professionally. But the family wanted me to go to college, and I guess I agreed with them, or else I would have accepted some of the offers I got. My very first show that I went to was 2009, so that was the end of my senior year of high school, that was my first introduction to professional wrestling at all. A college football star, by his senior year, is used to running out there with 110,000 people going nuts. They feel comfortable in that environment. To me, a set feels like that. The one thing that I do know is that, as long as I'm prepared, I know this environment and this world. I was in my senior year of high school when I read Notes from Underground by Dostoevsky, and it was an exhilarating discovery. I hadn't known up until that moment that fiction could be like that. Fiction could say these things could be unseemly, could be unsettling and distressing in that particular way, that immediate and urgent way. I developed my training routine going into my senior year at Jackson State. I found this sandbank by the Pearl River near my hometown, Columbia, Mississippi. I laid out a course of 65 yards or so. 65 yards on sand is like 120 on turf, but running on sand helps you make your cuts at full speed. My father died during open heart surgery on March 29th of my senior year in college. I was getting set to go to law school. I remember sitting in the waiting room when the doctor walked in. I said to myself, the worst possible thing just happened. What will you do? My senior year, I got to play Maureen in Rent, and I had more fun than I'd ever had in my life. During the summer of 1963 between my junior and senior years, 
I began a research project on hypothermia in the Department of Surgery with Sidney Wolfson. I quickly became fascinated by the project and continued working on it throughout my senior year. I started dancing when I was five, and I trained intensively as a competitive dancer up until the end of high school. I did all genres, and later on I did a lot of extra ballet on top of that. I actually got accepted to Juilliard for dance during my senior year, but I ultimately turned it down to come to LA to act. I got thrown out of school several weeks in my senior year being caught in the girls' dorm. This was 1,954, friends. The girls' dorm was off-limits. Even to girls, I think. My whole life, baseball was my first love. I was gonna go play college, but during my senior year I tore my ACL, and college kind of faded away with their offer, which I understand, obviously. That was a dark time in my life. After college, I moved to Paris to work as a paralegal. I hadn't been feeling well throughout most of my senior year of college, but I chalked it up to burning the candle at both ends. After I started my job, I began feeling more and more tired. My 11th grade summer, going into my senior year, is when I started dunking consistently. Before then, I'd probably get one dunk out of 25 tries. I led the state in defensive interceptions my senior year, with seven in nine games. Then I went to Montana to play basketball and found out quickly that my college career wasn't going to work out how I'd envisioned it. My senior year I was basically supporting myself, so it was like, do you want to eat and pay the rent, or do you want to go to school? I wanted to eat and pay the rent. My whole life, I wanted to be a fighter pilot, it's what I wanted to do. I set up all of my classes for it, but I got lazy my senior year in high school and didn't get my paperwork in. I started dancing when I was about 15 or 16 in my high school drama club, and then I liked it so much that they offered dual enrollment classes. So my senior year, I ended up taking college dance courses while I was in high school because I had good grades. For my senior year, I'm homeschooled. It's working well with the acting. Juggling school with the acting is hard, but you know, what can you do? By my senior year in high school, I was friends with every group. I kept hiding my smile in pictures throughout middle school and most of high school until picture day came my senior year. The Yale group was doing the Herald, so by our senior year we were trying to do the Herald. Again, we had no idea what we were doing. We had one guy in the group who was pretty experimental, he would kind of push us to do weird things. It was really fun, a great experience. I always liked my teachers, and I was in a lot of after-school projects. I was a Girl Scout until my senior year, when I couldn't be a Girl Scout anymore. I was in clubs like Junior Achievement, and I ran track and field. My grades were good, but then toward 11th grade they were nothing. I always went to summer school. The beginning of my political career was not promising. I ran for junior class president at Shortridge High School and was runner-up. I ran again in the senior year with the same result. But opportunity came ironically, or fortunately, when I returned to Indianapolis after serving in the Navy. What I remember most about junior homecoming was my date getting sick afterwards. That kinda sucked. Then, senior year, someone got gum in her hair when we were dancing. She had to get one of the chaperones to take her to the office and cut up her hair. I felt really bad for her, but it worked out fine. I went to UCF in Florida in Orlando. I went for advertising and public relations. I moved out to California my senior year because I knew I wanted to be an actor, but I also wanted to finish school and get my degree. I took mainly a bunch of criminal justice courses online for the last year because that's all that they offered. My parents got me a sewing machine for Christmas during my senior year of high school. I made three pieces of clothing and had a fashion show at the end of the year, where we had to wear the clothes that we made. I took it to a whole new level. I made all my friends clothes. When I first went to Stevens Point, I never thought I'd ever be close to the NBA. I didn't even think about the NBA. The big start for me was making it to the final cut for the Olympic team, and I was the only one who was going to be back for my senior year of college. My senior year at College Park, University of Maryland, I took an elective class in crime fiction taught by Charles C. Mish. He turned me on in a big way to reading and books. I was lucky to have a teacher who changed the course of my life. I think the only time I doubted myself was my senior year in high school. I was not offered a Division I scholarship. I remember a scout from Ohio State coming in and looking at my film. He was all excited to meet me. Then he met me and I was 5 feet 10 inches and he said that I was not a Division I quarterback. 
I was a telemarketer in my senior year at high school. I had to sell prosthetic limbs to paralyzed veterans. I was making 150 bucks a week and it was horrible. I had three jobs my junior and senior year of high school. I worked for the gas station and worked for a pizza place. My high school wasn't a big public school, it was tiny. There were 36 girls in my graduating class. We were a big group of girls that by the time senior year came along couldn't wait to get away from school fast enough but we loved each other. It's really fun to see the girls at reunions now. It's natural to me. I played point guard my whole life up until my senior year of high school. Most people don't know that. It's just in my game. Visit our website for more quotes. Quoting.com